Welcome back to South for Your Mouth. Today we are cooking sorta from our new cookbook. As you can see, that's, that's our official taste tester right there in the back. Here's our how to get to us. Yeah. And then on the front here we got the cooking from the heart. That's the name of the recipe book. A few of these are available by the way. If you're interested, contact us and I will let you know. Today we're working on a buttered rum cake. This has been requested a bunch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a recipe that was done by, that's actually my sister-in-law, which is a white wine cake, page 49 on the book if you're following along. And we're gonna turn that into a buttered rum cake. Here's a sample of what we're gonna put in here and I will put those in the comments as well. A lot of people use uh, spiced rum. Doing a little bit different take today. Now it's an espresso rum, Mountain Peak espresso flavored rum. Adding the four that. eggs. With a little bit of brown sugar, the fourth of a cup. I packed it in there. Make sure when you measure your cup out that you firmly pack your sugar. And the cinnamon. I'll start that building. I'm now adding the instant pudding and the water, a fourth of a cup, and three fourths cup of oil. Notice you got that pretty good. You want pretty slow, actually. You don't want to get it all over you, so let it fly all over you. I'll put some. I'll put some ads though. By the way, it's Merry Christmas in case you haven't been told today. When it's Baker's Joy. Baker's Joy. On the pan so that they won't stick. This is a little uh, muffins. Not muffins, but low pans. Baby loaves. And then I'm not sure how much batter we'll have left, so we're going to put it in another pan. We have covered it with the spray as well as flour. We're going to turn the oven on 325. Let it preheat. All right. Turn your mixer off when it's well blended. See, it's real smooth. We're going to add one box of the Duncan Hunt's Classic Cake Mix and a half cup of rum, espresso. Yeah. You can use spiced rum, you can use any kind of rum, but I think this, this is going to give it a little deep flavor to it. Big smoothly, makes all the looks out. Right. They're just about there. I'm using a third cup scooper. You don't have to use a scooper, I just happen to have one, so I'm going to measure this out so they'll all be the same size. I'm putting two scoops per pan. Got to leave room for expansion in there. Yep. Unless you want your cakes bubbling over and going all over the place. Some people might like that. This is what we had left over. It's just going to be a little thin cake. But that'll be all right. See that pan there? Six pretty little cakes. And Place in a 325 degree oven. Top shelf there, or well, it's sort of in the middle. And I'll tell you the exact amount of time we cook it when we get it done. Now making the glaze for our cake, this is one stick of butter melted and a fourth cup of water and a cup of, uh, a cup of sugar. This is the glaze that goes on our rum cake. Now you cook, I have cooked it for three minutes. See how thick it has gotten? Then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of the espresso rum. Is it rum or yum? 
is very good. It has that coffee, a little hint of coffee, and run together and butter. The cake comes out, we'll make little, uh, poke little holes on top of it and put this on top of it. Checking the cakes. We're checking the, making a list, we're checking it twice. We're gonna find out if, if the cakes is naughty or nice. <laughs> okay, they're done. We cook this about 25 minutes. Now it depends on your oven and what size pan you're using. You might have to cook it 35 minutes. It's just up to you. Right. Keep your keep your nose open because you can smell this stuff. That's the cake cake. There's the six little cakes. Who will be the special things. people to get those? Mmm, 3D cake. We're now spooning the glaze over the cakes. We'll let that soak in, then we'll come back and put some more. Yum. By the way, we tasted of this sauce once we got together, and it really has a little butterscotch taste. Right? Yep. Which is funny because the coffee espresso uh, rum had mentioned possibly having a butterscotch effect, which is pretty funny. This <laughs> sit in these pans until it cools down about 15 minutes before you even try to take it up. So it will absorb everything. Once again, we're back. South for your mouth. The official taste tester in action. Pop the rest, let it go. Alright, good friends. Good cake. Y'all go surround it so see who's here. And. Mmm. Well, in your mouth. Mmm. <laughs>